In this video, you will learn how to set up for a normal cephalic or vertex delivery. By the end of the video, you should be able to fill the simulator reservoirs, prepare the birthing baby, prepare the placenta and the umbilical cord with optional complications, and start a labor scenario. To start setting up, you'll need to remove the contractions cover. Do not attempt to lift the cover without first releasing both latches. To find the release latches, slide a finger up from the post on each side of the abdominal cavity frame. Press the release latch and gently lift the cover enough to disconnect the data cable. Then remove the cover. Using the mineral oil syringe, fill the internal lubricant reservoir with 10 milliliters of mineral oil. The mineral oil reservoir needs to be refilled after four deliveries. Using the PPH syringe, fill the intrapartum reservoir with up to 200 milliliters of Gamard simulated blood. Use the mineral oil syringe to make sure at least 15 milliliters of mineral oil are used to lubricate the cervix inside and out. Place the charged birthing baby on the white cradle. There are two rods for the birthing baby. Set the longer breech rod out of the way for this procedure. For a cephalic delivery, find the shorter rod with a notch. Gently push the rod into the baby's port. Apply a gentle pressure downward on the chin of the baby to align the spine. Rotate the connector at the end of the rod so the groove is facing up. The rod will lock to the baby until the end of the delivery. Use the mineral oil syringe to measure 15 milliliters of mineral oil and lubricate the baby thoroughly. Once the baby is in the abdomen, check to make sure it has sufficient charge to run a complete labor. At this point, you can create cord complications like knots, nuchal cords, and placental fragmentation. Place the birthing baby in the chosen orientation, tucking the legs up toward the chest, and slip the birthing ring over the bottom. Push the birthing rod into the motor until it locks. Secure the end of the birthing ring through the retaining hook. Once the baby is on the motor, select the orientation with the ROA, LOA, ROP, or LOP button in the software. Use the syringe again to make sure at least 15 milliliters of mineral oil are used to lubricate the inside of the birth canal. Insert the lubricated placenta to the holder in the contractions abdomen and connect the data cable carefully before lowering the abdominal cover into place. Gently press down on the cover to lock it in place. Be sure to run through the pre-labor checklist before starting. Once Victoria is completely prepared for the birth, click the Normal Delivery category in the Quick Launch page. Then select any of the scenarios with the baby icon and click Start Scenario to begin the labor. If you want to run an accelerated delivery, you can use the Labor Speed slider to speed up the scenario.